see here. Of course, Google hasn't even caught up to um, the new episode, the two final episodes of the mid-season finale. Does it do the same thing on the Xfinity Guide? How odd. But I better make sure the mean six will record. Oh, thank God. These guides are so ridiculous. So stupid. I don't know how they can mess up something this badly. This is... This is awful. Okay, so marks for effort. The near fine, the near like one the last episode for this season of for at least half of this season of Friendship is Magic. Now, let's just pull it back a bit because well, I'm just too excited to see what will happen next week. But keep that off topic, because like. I mean, the title gives it away. It's QE My Crusader, so this ought to be interesting. And what particularly happens is that the CMC are completely jelly, uh, jealous. I don't even know why I'm using that word. Better get rid of this phone before it goes off. Is that the QE My Crusaders are jealous because they really want to go to Twilight School so badly. And they try a lot of things, try to get into the school, but they don't work so very well. So they decide to take matters into their own hands by essentially, um, by essentially, like, using desperate measures, trying to act like rebels and try to get into Twilight School. However, they all see that they already know. They're, like, Kirin and Crusaders, they're somewhat like counselors themselves. They help, they help out people that are trying to earn their mark or are trying to learn something in life that they're good at. Even help them with, like, small problems, like... Gavi wants to try to earn a cutie mark, but she can't because she is a griffin. But things go for the um, lighter side when they actually find out somebody who goes to Twilight School is in desperate need of help. Like, she wants to learn badly. And so, she winds up getting help from the CMC on, like an assignment and whatnot, and even a test, but she deliberately fails the test into in thinking that they'd wind up getting the CMC into the school, but, well, Twilight gets upset with this and basically outright bans them from either going to the... Either, no, that's not the right word. She bans them from both going to the school and helping the students out. But, of course, our little filly has to talk to Starlight and get some counseling, because, don't forget, there was actually a counselor's office in Twilight School. Almost like middle and high school. Anyways. She... Um, the little filly talks to Starlight for some counseling, and in the long end, winds up bringing the CMC back once again, as she, as the filly confesses to her, like to them, to her deliberately failing the test. And in the long end, the CMC get their quick graduation from school, and of course. Twilight being Twilight, she, in the long end, winds up sending the CMC to be actual tutors 
for any of the creatures. Because remember, it's it's just not ponies anymore in this school. So what happens is they were brought in and in the long end, they become tutors for Twilight School so that any creature can go to them for anything that they're struggling with. That's where it ends. A moderately put together CMC episode, but again, it goes back into that issue of there being too many cooks in the kitchen. Because sometimes the continuity can somewhat be out of order, so for the most part, it's it's somewhat difficult to, like, like have most of the continuity. I mean, there's people learning, like, characters learning the same lesson, or this doesn't tie into that. But, again, too many cooks in the kitchen. But at least we get some sort of development with the CMC. Despite the fact that we've only seen them like six episodes ago. No, no really, it, it's true. We haven't seen them uh, since Surf and or Turf. Like, so, I'm actually like keeping count of these. But, where do we go from this? I mean, it's great that we actually get the... CMC into this school for, like, tutors. That's a good concept, and if they keep this up, I mean, it could definitely be a certain reoccurring part of the whole series, and I really look forward to it. And, of course, we get to see what happens sometime in the future. I just hope this CMC get another episode, but this episode was decently put together. I mean, nothing to really shout home about, but it's still put together fine. I mean, despite the fact that the Philly just purposely failed her test just to get the CMC in there, but it backfired so badly. Like, that's just terrible. And... It's just... Just awful. Again. It's sort of kind of put together decently, and despite the fact that those little scenarios of the filly and whatnot, that, her, that what she did when she, with her test in Twilight School, yeah, she done gone messed up. But... Maybe once I, um, like, when I decide to marathon a lot of the older episodes, just for, like, rewatch sake, like, binging before the next season, which I rarely do, especially with the ongoing event that happened in 2014 with the... The Hub Mega Marathon? Yeah, they... I think they were the hub before sometime in September or October they switched over to Discovery Family. Been a little too long since I remember that. But, anyways, I think that'll about do it for this week. And, honestly, I'll be in for a big surprise once we get to the mid-season finale next week, June 9th. When the mean six come out. And yes, it it is the episode that was given a little bit of a teaser at Hascon, which is a convention for Hasbro. Which I think Little Shy attended that one, but we got the animatic for Mean Six, and I'm honestly looking forward to those said episodes. But I guess with that in mind, it's interesting of an episode. I look forward to next week because this is the one that everyone's been hyped for because it's the return of Queen Chrysalis, so that'll be something to look forward to. And just a brief side note, I am currently trying to get these 
convention view um, the panels uploaded. I mean, I'm currently talking with some of the panelists of the Villains 101 panel about um, some of the cuts I made to their panel, so I'm currently keeping in touch with them, so I'll upload that, and well, as the later panels I got, and then finally I can release the musicians, and then finally get to work on the convention vlogs. But then again, this is the Everfree vlogs we are talking about right here. But I guess with that in mind, I will see you guys next week for the season finale, for the mid-season finale. This ought to be interesting to see what happens. Guides are glitched up, Google's glitched up. I don't know what else to say. But look forward to seeing you guys next week. So just take care and now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get the laptop ready so I can render the rough cut of the Villains 101 panel.